welcome. In front of me is a Motorola Edge 40 and today I will show you how you can copy contacts from the SIM card to the phone. So to get started you will want to open up the standalone contact application. From here navigate to fix and manage, import from SIM, give it a second to load the contacts that are on your SIM card. Now if it doesn't load them Right away, I'm gonna go, <laughs> go back right when they actually appear. There we go. So once it load, loads them up, uh, by default, they should all be selected. So if you don't want all of them, you can deselect some of them. And additionally, if you see some of the contacts that are already deselected and also grayed out, uh, that's completely normal. Those contacts already exist on your device and the phone is simply stopping you from duplicating contacts. Now, uh, there's also normally another option right here which uh, I don't have on my phone right here which would be right under the import contacts you would have a drop down menu where it either says, provides you with your Google account or says this device now this is option where you can choose where the contacts will be imported to and it only appears if you actually are logged into a Google account because then you have two options uh, I am not logged into the Google account on this phone so it automatically goes to this device as an option and that's the only option so it doesn't give me that drop down menu. So once you select import it will obviously import the contacts and when you go to the contacts tab you should see your contacts right over here. And going back to the Google account this device and all that uh, you have this icon right over here of a phone at least on my end and yours it's probably the account of the first letter or just an image if you have one set of your Google account. So you can tap right here and then swap between device or the Google account. Now, like I said, I don't have any accounts logged in, so it's not showing up here. Uh, but if I did, it would be right here below the device. And I could swap the contacts where the devices or where the actual application is pulling the contacts from. So anyway, with that being said, hopefully you found this video helpful. If you did, don't forget to hit like, subscribe, and thanks for watching.